I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. Joiner Lucas featuring Jelly Roll. Are you kidding me? This is a dream come true. Best for me is the name of the song. And Joyner Lucas is coming to my hometown, H-Town, Houston, Texas. I can't wait to go see him in person with Dax. This is just making my day. Joyner Lucas and Jelly Roll. Best for me. What in the world's about to happen? Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist. Without further ado. I just can't. We got to get into this. How can you love someone and learn to let them go? Jelly! Come on! on things Come we on! Never know. Yeah. Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay? Oh, this is good, y'all. You got Jelly on the porch singing. You got Joyner popping out from the house. How can you love someone and learn to let them go? It's the ultimate question, really. How can you love someone as a mental health professional? <laughs> How do you love someone, really love them, and let them go? Meaning, not have hatred, not have spite, not have resentment, and not be clinging on. Because sometimes that happens and things just don't work out. Or it's too late. Like it could have, but it didn't. And then he says this part in there, isn't it funny? You can change your ways. Like you can become a different person for someone to fill in your empty space. Meaning all this time, this experience, this relationship that you went through, that you thought was everything, you now leave and somebody else just fills in that space. And all of a sudden you're not, uh, you don't matter anymore in that space. Oh. Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay? Whew. Wow, what a question, Jelly Roll. Listen to that voice. Change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space. Tell me, is it really love if you have oh, to Oh, somebody ask on the ground. Stay. Yeah. I got somebody I love, ah. someone who's really important ah. to me, but now they addicted to drugs, ah. someone who's not who they used to be. And oh, we now he's got somebody on the floor with the pills there. He's got somebody he loves that's addicted to drugs. And you can't help. You can't help somebody. You can still set boundaries. You can learn to not, you know, enable it, but you can't help somebody who's not wanting the help. Because they become a different person. When addiction kicks in, y'all, addiction becomes its own being. It becomes the person almost is not themselves anymore. So the addiction takes over. It's like a different body that enters them and they become somebody else. It's so hard. Come on, Joiner. If they stay. Yeah. I got somebody I love. Yeah. Someone who's really important to me, but now they addicted to drugs. Ah. Someone who's not who they used to be, and we ain't been keeping in touch. I ain't gonna say any names at all, cause I don't want no one to judge. Yeah. But I wrote the song, I hope when they hear it, they'll never forget who they was. Yeah. I hope you're feeling your spirit enough. I wanna just tell you I love you in case that you really don't hear it as much. I know we ain't talked in a while, but fuck it, I really don't care what it was. I wanna reach out, but you keep on shutting me down, and you ain't been caring as much. What the fuck happened to you? Going backwards here almost, this guy at the Def Leppard t-shirt who's using, and it just, remember, it's a progressive illness. Addiction is a progressive illness. I don't know if this is somebody he lost or somebody that's in the middle of using or somebody that was using, but it's obviously somebody he cares about. And when you're watching that happen, it's almost like you look at somebody, what what's going on? The person you used to be is not who you are anymore. I mean, Jelly Roll can relate to that, too, with all the things he's sung about, you know, and being through pain and misery and addiction and depression and and to, to be able to fight that and to be able to make choices. You know, life's a series of choices over time and to make choices that lead you in the right direction. So hard, especially when you don't have the support system around you to do it and people who aren't enabling it. It's like a conversation here he's having with this person in hindsight of what in the world happened. Super excited today to have the sponsor of this video be BetterHelp. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, is the way to go when it comes to finding a new therapist. You know I'm a mental health professional. I am a psychotherapist by trade. So if I am endorsing a product having to do with therapy, you better believe it's gonna be a solid product. I've tried BetterHelp myself. I've been a client. I know what it's like to be on the other side. I also know what it's like to be a therapist. And let me tell you, when I got matched, I loved 
my match. Don't forget to type betterhelp.com slash reaction therapy for 10% off your first month. And all you need to do is fill out the questionnaire that they give you. And in most cases, they're going to match you within 48 hours with a therapist that they think will fit you. And if it does not, don't worry about it. They're going to switch you back. And you get to find a therapy time that is convenient for you. You can do it via phone call. You can do it be, by messaging. You can even do it by video, virtual chat. BetterHelp gives you a chance to have a chance in life. They give you a place to be able to share what you need to share, reshape the things that you have struggled with, and have hope and resiliency for the future and be able to spread that mental health all the way around the world because you know our mission at Ther Reaction Therapy, it's to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. Well, BetterHelp spreads mental health awareness to you through their entirely huge network of over 30,000 therapists. Try it today. I'm telling you, I've done it. You can do it. Let me know how it goes. And thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. One case that you really don't hear it as much. I know we ain't talked in a while, but fuck it, I really don't care what it was. I want to reach out, but you keep on shutting me yeah. down. Like you ain't been caring as much. What the fuck happened to you? Push people away. You losing a fight. I never thought I'd see the day that you let addiction ruin your life. Everyone calling that shit a disease and making you feel like you in the right. But I hate the fact that you really be using that as an excuse to do what you like or do what you might. And I keep on praying and reaching for you. I hope you look in the mirror and see all the things I've been seeing in you. Yeah. Reflection to send you a message and show you this shit is much deeper than you. If you don't believe in yourself, then you'll never believe in somebody believing in you. And I gotta tell you the truth. If you don't believe in yourself, then you'll never believe in somebody believing in you. What a great line joiner. Listen to this if you're struggling with anything, because the addiction fa the phases are experimentation, which means you start typically when people are younger. You're dabbling in things. Problem phase, which means you're starting to lose control and you're getting deeper than you probably should. You're not just trying it anymore. You're needing it more, but you can still go backwards. And then a line is drawn. And then on the other side of this line is addiction. Once you are an addict, you cannot go back. Once you are a pickle, you cannot go back to being a cucumber, right? Best way to learn it. Cucumbers, once they're cooked, become pickles. You cannot go back and change it into a cucumber. If you're still in the problem phase, you can go backwards. That's why we try to arrest so many of these and move them backwards as quick as we can before it gets to addiction. But what's in, in addiction, you can only recover. <clears throat> You'll always be an addict. You can't ever use anymore. You can't ever you know, get into substance. And by the way, it's easy to trade from one to the other at the same time. He's saying everything every person who loves somebody who's struggling says but he can't save that person. But he's saying what he needs to say. You know, people step lightly around people in addiction all the time. By the way, they don't even want to say that word, but it's like, let's not say anything to upset them. Let's not say anything to hurt their feelings. And man, heaven forbid we say anything that makes them go use or act out again. Y'all, you need to be direct. You need to be honest. You need to say what Joyner Lucas is saying right here so that they can have a wake-up call. You don't reject people. You love them. You accept them. And Joiner, it is a disease. Once and many times with drugs and alcohol, it's a chemical issue. It's in your body, and that's why it becomes so hard. But that's not an excuse. People could use it as an excuse, but it is a choice of what you do. It may be a brutal thing to overcome. You can do it with help, but people have to realize, I'm just going to dig a deeper hole. It's a progressive illness over time. I'm going to get worse and worse over time. How can you expect to love yourself uh, when you can't, what was it? If you don't believe in yourself, how in the world uh, you'll never believe in somebody believing in you? I love that line. It's such a lot of beliefs, right? But if you really don't believe in yourself and that you matter, if anybody else believes in you, you're going to be like, forget it. Because you don't believe in yourself. Listen to that. Things I've been seeing in you. Hope you reflection to send you a message and show you this shit is much deeper than you. If you don't believe in yourself, then you'll never believe in somebody believing in you. When yep. I gotta tell you the truth. Cause I'm about to lose it. And you in denial about it and just wanna make up a million excuses. Tearing our family apart, but you leave a scar and everyone bruises. Every decision affecting us all. And if you get lost, then everyone loses. For real. Mm. And I'ma be next to leave. I know that guy got a plan and you ain't fulfilling Gosh. your destiny. Much as I need you, I will not be sticking around or watching you rest in peace. I promise I love you, but I gotta do what's best for me. How can you love Woo! someone? Jelly! To let them go. Yep. 
How can we fall apart on things we we'll never know? Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they'll stay? This is so interesting, especially the end there when Joyner was talking, because he's basically saying, and I say this to people all the time who are struggling with family members or friends who are in addiction, uh, you cannot love them to death, meaning enable them and try to coddle them and try to care for them and try to help them. You want to be a resource for people. You do. You want to be able to offer them you know, a meal, offer them mental health care if you're going to do anything. Don't just give them money to go buy groceries and they get drugs. Don't just pay for a needle because they're going to go use a dirty needle on the street and catch HIV or any of that. It happens all the time. Family members feel like they have to love them all the way to their death, and that's going to be on your shoulders. You're going to feel that after. You have to have enough strength inside, Joyner. Thank you for saying it, to tell someone, I love you so much that I need to distance myself from you. I'm here for you. When you want help, I'm here for you, but I am not going to allow you to pull me in to your misery like this. It's not okay, but I'll offer help, and I'll be there for you. Is it really love if you have to ask if they'll... Stay. Look, I know you've been calling for me. You hit on my phone, but I've been alone so long, I'm harder to reach. I know you ain't saying. I love how Joyner does these two sided things where he's like both sides, and now he's the other guy who's talking to him. Is this going to dupe me and turn directions on me? Calling for me. You hit on my phone, but I've been alone so long, I'm harder to reach. I know you ain't saying any names, but I got a feeling you talking to me. Ah. I hate when these demons get into my soul, I feel like I'm caught in a beast. I do I let go of something I know is bigger and stronger than me. If I could be honest, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not who you want me to be. Nobody is perfect, not even you. So why you keep targeting me? Yeah. Fella, we can't even have a genuine convo without you starting to preach. I felt like a dog on a leash. It's not what I need. Living in hell, wondering when I gotta leave. Like, how can I breathe? How you gonna tell me addiction is not a disease? What do you mean? If it's not a disease, then why has it gotten to me? It's not what it seems. But you always be making me feel like the problem is me. I'm not gonna be who you want me to be. Like God decided for me and speaking to God. How the fuck you know all of the plans he's got for me? So give me a break. I've been etching away from trying to get out of this dream. I'm drifting away. How come you only there for me when I be trying ah. to get clean? Biggest mistake is me wishing that things. How come you're only there for me when I'm trying to get clean? Now, this is the problem I've talked about with addiction, because when addiction's at play, it's like a different entity. It's like a different body. That's not the same person. So the addiction never wants to die. It only wants to get stronger. And to get stronger, it has to push everybody else around them away, which means at times they'll make, a, this is gaslighting, gas they'll make other people feel like it's their fault. How are you doing this to me? You're only there when I'm, when I'm good. You only love me when I'm doing what you want me to do. You're only there when I'm trying to get sober. You're not there for me when I'm really hurting and alone. And they blame other people, which is the gaslighting, in order to pull them back in. I'm sorry. I do love you, and I'll try harder, and I'll be there. It allows the addiction to grow. You cannot let the addiction convince you that this person is um, It's luring you in. So this is very interesting because I'm wondering, you can't just cave on this and say, all right... You have to stand strong and say, I know it's hard. I know you're struggling. I'm here for you, but only if you want to get well. I can't treat people in my office who want to just keep using. It doesn't do any good. It's not going to do any good. Drifting away. How come you only there for me when I be trying to get clean? My biggest mistake is me wishing that things were different. I felt like the drugs is made for sitting. That's why I've been stuck in the same position. Fuck. I'm falling, but I cannot budge. Been wondering why I'm in love with a strange addiction. And why the fuck you always playing a victim? A lot of this yep. shit that you hate to mention. It sucks that I had to taint your vision. But ain't nothing left for me. So you can just quit addressing me. I guess it's just my destiny. So take me as I am or let me be. Tired of you stressing me. Cause shit I gotta do is best for me. How can you love Ooh. someone? There you go, buddy. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Ask if they'll stay. How can you love someone and learn to let them go? How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? Isn't 
Amen to that. Please text best for me. Please go to that number. Text it. Reach out. You know, Jelly Roll has such compassionate eyes when you look at those eyes of him at the end because he knows some of the most compassionate people are the most broken people. A friend of mine said once, and I believe it, that he he feels it. And it's somehow that guy ends up at a table with Jelly Roll at the end singing that little part. So cool, what a sweet voice. And Joyner, what powerful lyrics. But you cannot cave in when you see somebody in addiction. In other words, I am here for you. I love you. I want the best for you. But I will not love you to death. I will be here as a resource for you to help you with recovery. I won't enable your addiction anymore. So powerful. It's what I live in every single day here. Thank you, Joyner and Jelly Roll for having this song. And I love doing it. Remember, it's not real therapy. It's just Tom Break It Down lyrics if you want help. Check the links in our description, and please leave us your comments. Let us know what you think about this, what good music this is. Mental health matters. Don't forget. That's why I smile. Love addiction because I love recovery, and that's what it's all about. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.